Well, <laughs> it started out so long, a long time ago when I was just five or six years of age. My dad was an ardent golfer and he had built, the, uh, got a group of men together and they uh, had a private club, but they built <clears throat> a nine hole golf course in Urbana, Ohio on my mother's family property. And uh, when I was born 25, the time I was six or seven or years of age, I'm out there watering the greens. The next thing I get a little older, I'm cutting the grass on the, uh, on the, on the greens. And I was working on the golf course. Every summer I worked on the golf course. So I always, I came very interested in golf course and the general maintenance of a golf course. And uh, right before the war, World War II, the uh, superintendent went to work in a defense plant and I was 16 or 17 and I was made the greenkeeper at the Urbana Country Club. And I was there until 1944 when I went into the parachute infantry. But, uh, and then when I got out of the, out of the service, I've always been interested in, in, in the agronomics or maintenance of golf course. And when I got married in 1950, I moved to Indianapolis where Alice is from. And I started to go and take care of the, the Country Club of Indianapolis. I was the Greens chairman. And then I went to Purdue and took a lot of their short courses in, uh, in agronomy. So I, I never passed any of them, but I, but I took them all. And I've always been interested in golf course maintenance. And that's been uh, uh, the real love of my whole life has been the maintenance of, of golf courses. Well, the, the maintenance has changed like everything else in this world. You're a young man and everything changes, you see it change. But it's escalated so, and uh, we, keep, we keep the golf courses so manic, manicured nowadays as the cost has gone up. And uh, I don't really like that too much, but I don't run the world. And we've escalated it. A lot of it has come from where the, uh, the builders are building homes, and they built homes. So now the lady lives here, and, and on the other side of the fairway, another lady, and they, they want everything manicured from one side to the other has escalated the cost and then they they've changed the method and the greens used to be cut at a, at a, at a rate called a step meter you know i'm talking about the rate of the, the speed of the golf ball and it used to be seven or eight now it's up to 12 and that all escalates the cost of maintenance and i hate to see that because i think that hurts golf and i think someday it, it'll come back with a little recession or a little less, it'll, people will start to realize that they can go back to seven or eight or nine on the step meter and, and they can cut the fairways a little higher, they can do this and do that. And they don't have to have the, the rough just immaculate. And um, so that'll bring the cost back, the maintenance cost. And I think the, the, uh, the escalated cost of maintenance has hurt the game of golf, but, but it seemed to be surviving. But someday I think that the feeling that, that and especially now that you have much more of a world golf going on. I mean, you turn on the television, they're playing in Abu Dhabi, and then they're playing in, in some place in Sweden, and then next playing they're playing in, in the British Isles, and they're playing in Africa. So I think the, the, the way they maintain those car, golf courses will start to filter back to the United States, and that'll help out as far as the cost is concerned. Well, you know, the, uh, I built a golf course in northern Indiana for under a million dollars, and I built one in southern Indiana for $20 million. So there's a tremendous difference of, of, of the cost of building a golf course. I mean, a tremendous difference. And then a lot of people are building a golf course is either for a resort you know, or they're building it for a, a, have a major championship, and then they're building a, a nice golf course for for a guy can pay $35 to pay, play golf. And uh, it's, it's, a, it's a complete difference. But then I think that the, uh, the uh, escalation in some of the res high-end resorts and high-end golf courses, they don't have to be that much to make a good golf course. And then you can have fescue rough and a little of this and a little less water and a little less this and a little less that. But, uh, but the golf, the, the game would be the same. And it was that way for many, many years. And I think it'll filter back to that, at least I hope so, in a lot of places where 
then then we'll bring it the play from two hundred dollars down to a hundred and and then from fifty down to thirty five so the whole world can play golf what had happened i think everything happens and changed in the united states is when they built so many houses and they built houses around or with a golf course and that that escalated it and i think that'll slowly come back at least i hope so <laughs>